spectacular. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. I'm being transported somewhere. Jeff, I love meeting with you because you always know these cool, hip, fun places to eat. And today's no exception. And sometimes you go where your kids lead you. It's the path of least resistance. So where are we eating today? I'm taking you to a place with divine possibilities. Ooh, sounds interesting. <laughs> Hallie, this is Damien, the president Hello. of Hi, Damien. Pasta. Hi, Damien. Very nice Divine to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Yeah. The title is amazing, so I can only assume you're amazing. Tell us about um, Divine Possibilities. Okay. Um, Divine Possibilities has been around since 2002. Um, we started off with this concept called a tour pasta, and it's basically a hollow garlic bread with different pasta dishes inside. We also do them with salads and cheese sticks, um, but that's kind of the concept I had as a little kid, and still going. Yeah, it sounds like so much fun because I know as a little kid you do stuff like what, put chips in your sandwich. So was that how this was? You were just like having a sandwich and you would put pasta in your sandwich? Or how no, that I, I would just always eat uh, pasta with bread, like on a piece of garlic bread or regular bread and I would try to fold it over and eat it and it would just fall out and make a mess. And then one day uh, the elementary school I was at served a dinner roll and I just hollowed out the roll stuffed the spaghetti inside and ate it that way and it was just all neat. No, nothing fell out. It was tidy so from then on, I said, Mom, buy rolls, you know, and I would just keep doing it. And as I got older, it would evolve into like garlic bread rolls and more different varieties of pasta and things like that. And then when I got into my uh, college age, I guess I was making it for roommates and family members and they're like, this is good, you, you could do this, you know, like as a cart or something. And so that kind of got the business idea in my head. And then I, you know, worked in cubicle land as an academic counselor for six years or so and thought I could come back to this someday. I'm going to risk it and go try this and see what happens. And I'm still going. So like a natural yeah. transition from like academia to a restaurant, you know, like that <laughs> yeah, happens yeah. all the time and it, yeah. and it works out. And you've been here, what, 17 years now? Almost. In 17 years. Yeah. That's amazing. Yes. This looks incredible. Tell us about, so it's called tor pasta because it's kind of like pasta mixed with? A torpedo, like a, a torpedo, torpedo sandwich kind of, but we, yeah. So torpedo with pasta is basically the, where the name's from. What are the, the best sellers, the most unique ones? Like, can okay. every, is there something for everybody, I'm assuming? I think so, we have, we have vegan, vegetarian options. Um, we, we do have- what I have in front of me here? So this is a vegan one, yeah. Okay. It's uh, meatless meatballs, they're, they're like soy. Um, you've got spinach, garlic, I'll take a little piece. Um, bell peppers, onions, it's uh, red wine marinara sauce, it's really Ooh, good. I love that it's getting messy already. Now, are you allowed to use a fork like she's doing, <laughs> or is that like it a It was designed to not need a fork. Okay. So yeah, I used to be really militant about it, like no fork. I know as like a parent of kids that don't really love using utensils, uh -huh. this is right up their yeah, alley. Yeah. Pick it up and go. Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to keep it clean, here. but then it gets messy anyway. That's because you used a fork. I know, I know. <laughs> Cardinal, cardinal sin over here. Right, okay, so that's that one, and this one is? Um, this is one of the tor salads, so we also, if you want something lighter, um, the salads are stuffed in there. This is the uh, spinach almond feta. You can add protein if you want, or keep it vegetarian. A lot of the ones we have are flexible, so it could be vegetarian, pescatarian, yeah. um, or with you know a protein like chicken, meatballs, shrimp, um, sausage, your choice. Yeah. And um, this most, is your number one seller, right? This is the right? most popular, yeah. We make a fresh pesto every day. Um, it's, this is a creamy pesto with sun-dried tomatoes. We opted for chicken in it. Um, and this is definitely by far our best seller. And you're making your own pesto sauce? Yeah, in -house? all the sauces are made in-house. Wow. Every day. Okay, so I have a question for you. You've got the torpedo roll. What happened to the middle of the roll? What are we doing with uh, that? So we do two things with it. We make croutons for the Caesar salad, and we also do the bread holes, which are kind of like the idea of a donut hole 
Um, so it's just like, you know, a little, we put a little garlic butter and Parmesan and you dip it in the marinara sauce, but good way to use the centers. Nothing, nothing and wasted. Not I waste them. It. Yeah. yeah, it looks like an amazing appetizer. So what else is on the menu? Is this pretty much what um, this place has we, to offer? We is also do uh, like a couple cheesesteak options. I, I call them steak and cheese because like <laughs> uncles from Philadelphia that would kill me if I don't do it the way <laughs> they want it done. But no, we, so we have uh, steak and cheese that comes in the hollow bread. There's the pepito style. It's the same thing, but we add avocado, tomato, jalapeno. Okay. Very California. And what, another thing is like you don't just have to come to the restaurant to eat here, right? You're you're offering catering, you're doing weddings, birthday parties, oh, things yeah. like that. Yeah, we do a lot of just business lunches, uh, weddings, uh, school things. We go to all the universities and cater. That's so cool. Fair so enough. events like that. I mean, I work with weddings. Would people even at a wedding order something like this? Yeah, yeah. We usually do a big buffet of the different pastas and salads, and then as people walk up, we're stuffing it for them and can do a mix match at weddings and stuff and it's a lot of fun. I'm surprised so many people order torpastas for their weddings, but it's a good time. Yeah. Yeah. And that shirt looks like a good time over there too. What is that shirt all about? Um, so we get a lot of uh, people kind of making fun of the fact that it's all carbs. Mm -hmm. So I love carbs. Just kind of went with it. We have bumper stickers that say Atkins is dead. Um, <laughs> kind of mean but I thought it was good but it's actually you know the bread is hollowed out and then the amount of pasta in this, this size is about only eight ounces so it's really not as carb heavy as a big bowl of pasta with however many breadsticks you're gonna eat yeah. so it's lighter than you think so I just sort of decided to be the antithesis of the Atkins diet I will tell you that I have eaten here before and like I have a very hard time just eating one of these so uh, yeah. you know sometimes you can say hey well you know your wife and you split one and you each get to sample another one it's it works out pretty well. Speak for yourself. I'm gonna eat this all by myself, Jeff. You can't have none of this over here. I have one more question for you. Okay. Actually, probably have more questions, but tell us, like, when you invented this sandwich, how did it end up in this stand? Oh, okay, so we used to serve them when we first started on a plate laying flat for a dining. Okay. And uh, people would cut the bottom off, like a calzone. And I was just like, oh. So I, I had to come up with a way to force people to approach it the right way. And okay. I had other designs. I finally designed this. This is phase one, and then phase two had the flat bottom stands. But yeah, the stands kind of force you to come at it in a vertical way and eat it the way and it's you, intended. And you get to look at it too. It's very like visually yeah, appealing, it, right? Don't they say you like you eat with your eyes to yeah, start? Yeah, I, I agree with that. Yep. So when you get these, they come in a stand if you're dining in. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. It's gonna make you always feel like you're gonna want to eat it like this, right? Yeah. Now when I eat a stand somewhere else, I'm gonna be like, excuse me. Yeah. I need a stand. Because if this. you cut the bottom off, now you got it just falling through, and the whole Thing is right. I love fruit. it. I love it. Yeah. Well, I don't want my food to get cold. I don't know about you. Um, this is amazing, incredible. I definitely want to dive in, and hopefully on my way out, I'll be rocking one of those shirts. Oh yeah, for sure. I love carbs. Got the V-neck tank okay. top. <laughs> Thanks, Damien. Oh yeah. You're welcome. Thanks so much. But you know me, and what I love even more is shopping. <laughs> I know that. I know yes. you so well, Tony. Well, you know, I just sold a house here in Cardiff by the sea, so I got to spend a lot of time here, and I got to reconnect with a friend of mine that I would, I'm dying to introduce her to you. She just busted up my wardrobe, and she makes me feel good every day. And you know how much I love to dress up. Oh, yeah, me too. Cool. And I'm so busy. <laughs> that I don't have time, but she helped me out a lot. So I would love to introduce you yeah. to her. I think I'm going to have a new best friend. I think Not so you. too. <laughs> <laughs> oh. This is my favorite store. It's Sion Wonder in Cardiff. I love the, the unique pieces that they have here. So I always like to bring my clients to try to make them look fabulous and find something special. Well, Priscilla Come looks me. fabulous <laughs> every know. day, so now I know her secret sauce. So I know, I was hiding a little bit, but <laughs> she needs, everybody needs to know and Everybody needs a personal stylist, so yes. how did you even get into being a personal stylist? So styling, and um, it's always been in my life for a long time, and um, I used to own a boutique in La Jolla, and I also used to style for a magazine, and I designed some clothing for, um, for some uh, active wear. 
And so um, that's why I got into it. It's my passion and it's been my passion for a long time. I love that. Well, I'm sure it comes out in how you style people, but what's the first thing when you look at somebody, how do you know what to grab or what they should be wearing? I need to understand a little bit of their lifestyle and because um, there's different for everybody. Yes. So there's different needs. Some people just come to me because maybe they're changing their, their job, they got a new job, or some people just because they don't like to shop and they don't know how to shop. <laughs> like me, so, like me. To shop? Yes. No, like I, I'm so busy, you know, yeah. with appointments every day. And so I, it's not that I don't like, I don't have the time. So when I saw Andrea, she helped me so much <laughs> just by going to my closet, reorganizing, putting outfits together. And like right now I cannot live without her because she helps me so much. What a compliment. So you don't just go help people buy new clothes, you can take the clothes that they already have and make outfits too. So that's what I also love. I just like to go in their closet and then I have a better feeling of what they like. And what I always tell them, I like to look in their closet and see a new perspective and look different ways of putting their looks together and being creative. And a lot of the times I shop in their own closet and I just add some new pieces whenever you need. And the thing is, it makes you feel good. So everything, absolutely, it start working, you know, better. Where I, I feel like I perform better at work, and just because your confidence is there. That's very true. Because if you feel like you look good, you feel good inside too. Yes. I'm not trying to change anyone's look or just push my personal style or you know trends on anybody. I just want to make sure they feel comfortable and they feel confident with what they're wearing because I just believe that um, what you wear, it's your clothes, it, what it's really show and how you express, how you know, who you are. It's your so badge, that's what I it's think. your identity. Yes. <laughs> so I think we should get some shopping done, but before we dive in, because you aren't gonna be able to pull me out, what do you think is the most common mistake or misconception that people have about either their clothing or what they wear? I just think that a lot of people have this belief that hiring a personal shopper, a personal stylist just for the rich and the famous. And that's yeah. not the truth. No, not at all. Actually, I can help a lot of my clients just to um, save money. I just, my goal is to teach them how to shop smart and just buy less, but more, but just better pieces. So you just need to, I need, you just need to guide them yes. and teach them <laughs> how to do it. Because my goal it's is not, I'm not gonna be there all the time, to help them, so I'm always teaching them also the how to do in their own. Yes. And also, she's great at helping our husband's boyfriend buy us the gifts. So she's <laughs> yeah, also okay, the holidays coming. Holiday. You are Valentine's. Yes. 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 <laughs> okay, That's let's right. do this. I'm ready to shop smart. I can't wait. And most of all, I'm ready to take chances. Sure. I can't wait to see what she picks. We gotta yes. try something completely new and different. I trust and you. Yeah. Okay, so ladies. Spring is around the corner, so let's find something bright and fun and flowy because that's kind of the, the trend that's coming in. So we should find, try to find something like that. Okay, I'm excited. Could do that. So I'll give some options okay, and then sure. you girls can tell me what you like. Um, I love this dress, it's just because I it's very it. flowy and I love the flowers. That's very in for very the spring. spring. Yes. It's very romantic. So I think too. we should try this. I think the, the, the red's gonna look great on your darker skin. Oh, thank and you. I think it'll look pretty. This is also a great option, very bright, vibrant Ooh. colors yes. and fun. And this, all these dresses you can wear down, you can wear with flats and just go on a resort and wear it with a hat or you can dress up and put some high heels and some jewelry and make it fabulous. So See, I like that. Your beautiful. mind thinks yes. that you could be versatile. You wear multiple times, yeah. There's, Where I yeah. just see one thing and I'm like, okay. Yes. <laughs> That's it. Try different things, sure. you always get there. These so two. Those two are gonna be great. So for I'm you, excited. Priscilla, I love your long legs and your lean body. So oh I, think, I think. <laughs> no wonder you like hanging around her. I love. It. I think this dress oh, would be this fit. stunning. A beautiful oh for God, you, and also gorgeous. with your skin color. And I love the color. Yes. Oh, I love this black dress. Oh, this has my and name on it. And even though, <laughs> <laughs> even though it's black, we can really make it fun. I can put some colorful accessories. This I love because you can wear with flats, super you cute. can wear with tennis shoes, shoes and make it super casual. Or you can wear with your beautiful shoes 
and put some Dressed very up, nice and... jewelry and then you're ready to go out at night. So it's a very transitional piece that you can change from day to night easily. And I For think you. I always forget accessories. Shoes, purses and accessories yes. make the looks completely different. Well, the next time I buy shoes, purses and accessories and someone says you have enough, I'll say, well, Andrea told me I need shoes, purses and accessories. Yeah, blame it on Andrea. <laughs> need some new. And that's what I like to shop in boutiques like uh, See and Wonder because they have everything that you need. You can buy your shoes, you can buy your purses, and you get your outfit, and they have great accessories and jewelry. So I think it's a good, it's an easy way to shop. And that's what I love about Andrea. I would have never thought of this. See, and I think we all set. set. Are you sure? Right no more shopping. No more okay. shopping for you girls. <laughs>、girls look amazing. I, I feel、it. amazing, just so you know. I love how it turns <laughs> out. You look I, beautiful. I would never, honestly, pick out these colors or this style of dress for me, but I'm in love. I think I me and Priscilla、I'm, need to go hit the town, maybe、oh, some lunch. Let's, Let's go. You're ready to go. We're okay, ready. Go Let's one, go. One more twirl before we go. Good. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs>
lucky and so blessed, you know, to be in such a beautiful community. So Edith, here we are out enjoying the bay and the area here, but where are we going specifically? We are going to be going to go meet Remy Pirat. She's an agent, the expert of the Coronado Cays. We're going to be meeting with her. She'll be talking to us about how it's like to live in the Coronado Cays, and I'm so excited to be able to introduce you to her. Fantastic. What a way to travel in a gondola and arrive to a beautiful waterfront property. This is amazing. Yeah, it's not too shabby living here out in the Cays. Um, this is one of the many luxuries that we get to enjoy every day. When you say you sell homes, it's like, oh, okay, but these are the homes you're selling. This is the community that you're living in and it's like a vacation here. It is really like a vacation. It is a water lifestyle. I mean, anybody that lives here knows that they can be relaxed, they can do water sports, they can go on the boat, on the kayak. What a fantastic way to live life because most people just drive to and from, but here you can take your boat, your kayak like you mentioned, or your mega yacht or your gondola. So interesting. Now Edith, um, is this community, has this community been around for a while? Actually, we just celebrated 50 years of the K's. Um, a couple of weeks ago, there was a big festivity celebrating 50 years of the K's. And the K's actually has a really interesting history. Um, before it became the, the K's that you see today, it was actually a hog farm. What? It was <laughs> also uh, the place where the Hotel Dell built the bricks back in the 1800s. So it's it actually has a great history, but um, in the 1960s, they started dredging, and so this is what this is what they created. There's about 10 communities here. Um, we've got about five clubhouses. We have six pools. We also have our own yacht club, which is amazing. Um, we're right across the street from the Silver Strand Beach. There's a 10-mile um, bike trail, running, biking. We also have our own dog park. I mean, it's our own little community nestled between the San Diego Bay and the Pacific Ocean. We've got retirees here, we have professionals, we have young families. Um, it's fantastic too because this is the only marina community just south of Newport Beach in San Diego in California. Who wouldn't want to be here? Interesting. Yeah. So beautiful. And also we have beautiful parks. So my son actually comes to the K's twice a week and for soccer games on Saturday. And so a lot of recreation occurs here. Um, the beach is like literally a quarter of a mile away. So you can go in your golf car or you can go walking. It's just such a pristine, beautiful community that if you want to have the outdoor lifestyle, the Coronado Cays is a place to be at. I love it. Well, I might not leave. I'm just gonna say that. <laughs> but thank you so much for showing me and for welcoming us from our gondola. Yes, thank you for coming. Yeah.